So I thought we'd revisit a fan favorite video and that's the internet strangest websites. In this part two, we'll be taking a look at obscure, funny, and downright horrible websites. Anything from Skyway Bridge Reports, the Heaven's Gate cult site, boobas, to whatever the Bruh. f*** this is. Today, we will be talking about the internet's strangest websites. I also want to mention that if this video somehow gets 100,000 likes, then sure, I'll go back onto the dark web and make a part 2 to the dark web version, which a lot of you guys seem to enjoy. Anyway, make sure to sit back, relax, and let's get started with the video. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 800,000 subscribers. We literally hit it about like uh, maybe 20 minutes ago. I was live on my Discord and I just live stream the live sub count so if you guys want to join the discord make sure to go join it let's talk about the patreon for a little bit so for five dollars you guys can get access to a special role where i always talk in that specific chat you know i don't really be talking in the general chats i'd be talking to you guys all the time in the patreon chat like we're friends like friend friends and it's pretty cool and for 15 dollars, you guys get all my youtube videos early this video my patreon people they already saw it like a couple days ago <laughs> also thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes seriously it means a lot to me march 18th was my birthday and i turned 20 years old all i ask for my birthday is y'all stream cherry soda and uh i guess leave a like on the video because we're trying to hit a hundred thousand likes which i'm i think we can get i think we can get and if you're on mobile there's a new like animation right now literally try it out if you're on mobile click the like button it does this cool animation i wish they did that on pc but sadly not so the internet strangers websites part two this list is in no specific order the websites could be creepy funny pointless or downright horrible. All my sources will be linked below and all the websites will be linked down below in a Google document. Without further ado, let's get started with the video. Pink Meth. Revenge is the concept of sharing an ex-partner's nudes publicly without their consent. Pink Meth, which was originally a site on the surface web before switching to the dark web, was the main website for this. With the option to submit images anonymously, some posts even included contact information and links to social media profiles of the victims. But what if a girl found out she was on the website and didn't want her images on the website? Well, luckily there was a removal request form, but it wasn't really. It was just so that the people reading could get an even bigger laugh seeing at how the victim is trying to get her images off the website. This is what the form read. Click the link below to submit a story containing 500 to 2,000 words explaining how your personal information and images got leaked. And teach a hooch to cover her cooch so she doesn't have to explain to her co-workers or sorority sisters why her quote, intimate moment with the love of her life or drunken one night stand is now making strangers around the world reach for the lotion and Kleenex. Pink meth loves slutty smart chicks, so share your story. Along with a few solid tips on how you can let your freak flag fly, while keeping your naughty side on the sly, and your profile will be removed. Plus, you get that warm fuzzy feeling that only comes from schooling bitches or a great orgasm. The site was seized in November 2014 as part of Operation Onimus, a multi-agency law enforcement effort that resulted in the shutdown of over two dozen dark websites, Pink Meth being one of them. Though I could not find the original creator of Pink Meth and if they were ever charged, but for comparison's sake, 27-year-old Kevin Bolliler, owner of YouGotPosted.com, another revenge site was charged with 31 felony counts of conspiracy, identity theft, and extortion resulting in 18 years in prison. I ended up in mental hospitals twice because of this and recently just had another break. Um, didn't end up in the hospital, but I'm medicated and everything, which has been helping. But it's just, it's been so tra traumatizing and I just want my life to get back to the way it was. This is the first revenge. Hosanna1.com. This website is definitely one of, if not the strangest website on this list. I mean, I could have an entire video talking about this one. From what it seems, this is, or was, an Afghan hound breeding registry, where one would visit to schedule breeding the dogs or simply buying from a litter. But the website looks so fucking goofy. To be fair, it was created in 1999, but even for that time period, the website looked like this. We believe that Afghan hounds are some of the most marvelous of his works. Visit our Hosanna Afghan Hounds homepage to view about a dozen pages with dozens of beautiful photos of our wonderful hounds. The AAA and AAA World Wide Web publishing stands for Afghans, Afghans, Afghans. Since we have so much experience producing beautiful websites to showcase them, browse the pages we've done for ourselves and others. See what AAA, AAW can do for you? Then it proceeds to talk about God? I thought this was for dog breeding. Look, I'm sure we're not going to get any any answers soon, but 
I'll just show you the weirdest things I found on this website. Clicking the main dog gif on the website leads you to a YouTube video of a person showing off the Afghan hound certificates. Their channel seems pretty normal and wholesome, but the website is so fucking weird. I dumped Twitter, deleted my account and the app off my phone the day after they dumped my president. The best president in my lifetime. If he wasn't good enough for Twitter, Twitter is sure not good enough for me. I will never touch TikTok with a 10 foot pole. It is owned by the Chinese Communist Party. I also dumped Amazon and avoid Google as much as possible. I use DuckDuckGo. I am Linda Farley, God's child, mom of six, grandma of 21 so far, and a charter member of the vast right-wing conspiracy. It seems like the owner is just someone's grandma, which explains why the website layout is so old. I mean, she got a jukebox section and an art car section, and not to mention, they got the Great Side Award. Look at that. That's the official Great Side Award. Is the website wholesome? Is it strange? Is it creepy? I think it's all of those and more. Poopsenders.com. Ever wanted to send shit to someone through mail? Well, now you can. Poop senders refer to themselves as the ultimate gag gift. A literal gag gift. It's guaranteed to be anonymous, and all you have to know is the person you want to send it to's address. You have the options of cow poop, elephant poop, gorilla poop, or even the combo pack. Now you're probably wondering, how the fuck do they get the poop? In their frequently asked questions section, it says that one of their staff team members goes to a local dairy farm and zoo about twice a week. I mean, their website's been active since 2007, so I'm sure business is booming. But is this even legal? Well, yes. Poop is non-hazardous. You just can't use their service to threaten people. But bruh, you know damn well the only people you would send this to is someone that deserves it. Let me know if I should order some and uh, unbox it on my second channel. Yeah, I'm asking you guys if you guys would like to see me unbox poop on my second channel. By the way, I have a second channel where I post anything I want in case you guys are interested. Make sure to go subscribe to that. Meatspin.com Meatspin was a part of a collection of shock sites from back in the day. Back in the day when you got a random link and you didn't have to worry about getting your IP grabbed, instead you just worry about a rickroll, or even worse, a rickroll with a different link. But being sent a link that said Meatspin on it? Who wouldn't want to click that? And well, uh, how do I say this without being demonetized? <laughs> this is gonna be one of the weirdest explanations of my life. Okay, are you guys ready? It's a man helicoptering right you guys know what the helicopter that move that only guys can do so this is guy helicoptering another guy that he's sitting on <laughs> do they doing the thing right they doing the thing and he just helicoptering and his thing is just 360ing y'all gotta give me some credit because i am a good explainer bro when it comes to like not getting demonetized i am great at this anyway the video was like one second and it would just loop there was a counter at the bottom noting how many spins you sat through it says here that the world record is 10 million 112 spins internet shock sites are a glorious part of internet history and i even debated making an entire video based on them but that's not really a smart idea considering the whole video would be me explaining things how i just did and that's not really that fun is it but join me as we read some of the titles of other shock sites i'm probably gonna have to blur some of these guys so wow i'm only gonna read a few of them so we have a shock button nut abuse bme pain olympics lemon party one of my personal favorite i can't even say that no actually no not one of my personal favorites two guys one horse goatsy we have one man one jar yeah i'm gonna stop there i don't wanna <laughs> turdgasm what, what is turdgasm anyway i want to make it clear that I'm not going to be providing links to the 18 plus websites. I literally can't. I think that's against YouTube's terms of service. When you go down to the list on the document, there will not be the 18 plus websites, only the ones that are appropriate for me to link. Pointer Pointer. Pointer Pointer is a 2012 website created by Studio Moniker that loads in a picture of someone pointing at your cursor wherever it lands. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty innocent. It's pretty funny. I like it. It's pretty fun, but it gets boring after a minute. The images don't look like they were ripped from Google, but rather a collection of images that were taken by a college student. I wonder if the creator was the cameraman and if he just went around his college campus being like, Ayo, can you quickly point for a, for a picture? <laughs> While I was reading about this website, it actually said that the creator makes the website load in like a little suspense because he said that he could do it really fast like when you drag the cursor it would actually load in all the pictures instantly but he said it wasn't good suspension wise so yeah let's move on to the next one HashimaIsland.co.uk Hashima Island is an abandoned island of Nagasaki, lying about 9 miles from the center of the city. It is one of the 505 uninhabited islands in Nagasaki Prefecture. The island's most notable features are its abandoned concrete buildings, undisturbed nature, and the surrounding sea wall. While the island is a symbol of the rapid industrialization of Japan, it is also a reminder of Japanese war crimes and the forced labor prior to and during the Second World War. During World War II, the history of the island is darker as Japanese 
Chinese wartime mobilization policies exploited enlisted Korean civilians and Chinese prisoners as forced laborers. Made to work under harsh conditions, it's estimated that over 1,000 workers died on the island between the 1930s and the end of the war as a result of unsafe working conditions, malnutrition, and exhaustion. The website opens up with this statement. Welcome to Hashima Island. On 27th June 2013, Google released brand new street views of a forgotten world off the coast of Japan in Nagasaki Prefecture. Take a haunted trip through history and discover the secrets and myths hidden amongst Hashima Island's mysterious, desolate landscape. It seems like a video game with eerie music playing in the background and a black and white filter. You can visit the Google Maps version as well. This website only modifies it to make it scarier and provide important facts about the history. Very sad and haunting at the same time. Skywaybridge.com A sadder one on this list is Skywaybridge.com. This website keeps track of all the committed at the Hillsborough County Sunshine Skyway Bridge since 1954. You can search by name, check out the camera footage, and leave tips and comments on threads about certain events. The website is dedicated to have everything you need to know regarding incidents and accidents that have occurred here. I do not suggest visiting the website if you're in a bad mental state, and that goes for some of the other websites in this video. So if you're in a bad mental state, I really do not suggest visiting these websites. Just, uh, just want to make that very clear. Thisman.org. I'm sure we've all seen this man. And if you don't know what the story behind this man is, here it is. In January 2006 in New York, the patient of a well-known psychiatrist draws the face of a man that has been repeatedly appearing in her dreams. In more than one occasion, that man has given her advice on her private life. The woman swears that she has never met the man in her life. The portrait lies forgotten on the psychiatrist's desk for a few days until one day another patient recognizes that face and says that the man often visited him in his dreams. He also claims he has never seen that man in his waking life. The psychiatrist decides to send the portrait to some of his colleagues that have patients with recurring dreams. Within a few months, four patients recognize recognize the man as a frequent presence in their own dreams. All the patients refer to him as this man. From January 2006 until today, at least 2,000 people have claimed they've seen this man in their dreams in many cities all over the world. Los Angeles, Berlin, Sao Paulo, Tehran, Beijing, Rome, Barcelona, Stockholm, Paris, New Delhi, Moscow, etc. At the moment, there is no a certain relation or common trait among the people that have dreamed of seeing this man. Moreover, no living man has ever been recognized as resembling the man of the portrait by the people who have seen this man in their dreams. The aim of this website is to help those who have seen this man in their dreams and to foster communication among them. To understand why this man is and why he appears in an apparently patternless array of situations in the dreams of such diverse human subjects. Though this whole thing was a fucking lie and found out to be a hoax. Anyone that's right now watching this video and said, Hey, I've seen that. No, you're just, you're lying. You're a bandwagon person. Stop it. It's not real. Upon this man's initial widespread exposure, there was suspicion from not only 4chan users, but also blogs like Ask Me and io9, that it was a guerrilla marketing stunt, as they discovered thisman.org was hosted by the same company that also hosted a site named guerrillamarketing.it, a fake advertising agency which designed subversive hoaxes and created weird art projects projects exploring politics and advertising. All right, so from what I've researched, eventually someone from the company was a, came out and was like, nah, this was a stunt, guys, I'm sorry. So it was a full admission. Like I say in a lot of my videos, don't believe everything that's on the internet. Internetlifestats.com. In part one, we spoke about another stats website and that focused mainly on life and death. But this one focuses on more, I guess, common situations, such as internet users in the world, Google searches, emails sent, websites hacked, internet traffic, CO2 emissions, and a lot more. It also has awesome visualizers to really give you an idea of how fast something is happening. Now, how do they get these stats? I'm 99.9% .9 sure they're just estimates. They're not real. It's not like they're tracking whenever women have babies, right? They are just estimates. Heavensgate.com Heavensgate was an American new religious movement, often described as a cult, and was founded in 1974 and led by Bonnie Nettles and Marshall Applewhite, known as T and Doe. Nettles and Applewhite first met in 1972 and went on a journey of spiritual discovery, identifying themselves as the two witnesses of a revelation, and attracting a following of several hundred people in the mid-1970s. In 1976, the group stopped recruiting and instituted a monastic lifestyle. Scholars have described the theology of Heavensgate as a mixture of Christian millenarian organism new age and ufology. The central belief of the group was that the followers could transform themselves into immortal extraterrestrial beings by rejecting their human nature aka committing 
and they would ascend to heaven, referred to as the quote, next level. The death of Nettles to cancer in 1985 challenged the group's views on ascension, where they originally believed that they would ascend to heaven while alive aboard a UFO, later coming to believe that the body was merely a container or vehicle for the soul, and their consciousness would be transferred to new quote, next level bodies upon death. On March 26, 1997, deputies of the San Diego County Sheriff's Department discovered the bodies of 39 active members of the group including that of Applewhite, in the house in the San Diego suburb of Rancho Santa Fe. They had participated in a mass Just before the mass the group's website was updated with the message, Hail Bop brings closure to Heaven's Gate. Our 22 years of classroom here on planet Earth is finally coming to conclusion. Graduation from the human evolutionary level. We are happily prepared to leave this world and go with T's crew. The website is just so creepy looking at now considering it was a real cult and these members browsed exactly what we're browsing now to eventually leave this Earth together. Hey guys, this video is brought to you by Atlas VPN. You guys are going to want to hear about this considering we are talking about visiting strange websites. Atlas VPN is a tool that encrypts your data and hides your virtual location. When connected to a VPN server, your device is connected to a new IP and DNS address. All of that traffic is encrypted and routed towards that VPN server. When the traffic arrives at the server, the VPN decrypts information and allows traffic to access the desired destination. Atlas VPN is available on iPhone, Android, Mac, and PC. Currently, Atlas VPN is running a three-year deal for just $1.99 a month with a 30-day money back guarantee. The deal won't last for long, so make sure to check it out by clicking the link in the description below. Let me show you guys something really cool you can do with it, and that's saving money. So many websites have their pricing adjusted based on the region that your device is in. With the information provided by cookies and IP addresses, these websites can guess exactly where you are. Once you switch your location to like India, for example, the price in whatever you're looking for will see a huge drop. We've tried this out on many different websites, including airline companies, subscription services like Spotify, YouTube Premium, and Netflix. Again, guys, Alice VPN is running a three-year deal for just $1.99 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you are interested, make sure to click the link down below. And now let's get back to the internet's strangest websites. Part two. <laughs> Booba. So this one actually doesn't have like a booba.com. Someone had to re-upload the website, so the website doesn't actually uh, still exist, but we have a copy of it. Booba was a British preschool television series that premiered on ITV in 2003 and later on Nick Jr. UK in 2005. As a kid, I fucking love this show, and now doing research on it, I don't even know how I got access to it, considering it's a UK show and I'm just a random Mexican from California. You can tell it was made to stimulate a baby's brain with all the bright colors, weird noises, and lack of real words, and oh yeah, those alien things, aka boobas. They had a website for children, and oh boy. Looking back at it, this seems like a full-on drug trip. There's not really a goal. You just click stuff and it gets your brain stimulated. I just think the designs of the characters are fucking creepy. If you're not a baby, this website should earn a spot on your I'm never visiting this again list. A ColumbineSite.com Their homepage states what their website contains perfectly. The oldest Columbine research site on the internet. A Columbine site archive is dedicated to those who were injured and those who died in the Columbine's high school incident in Littleton, Colorado on April 20th, 1999. This website deals with the grim facts of what happened that day. It's a stark look at the actions of Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold and the consequences they have followed. You'll find a mountain of information here about the victims as well as photos, videos, and news clips from the event. There are transcripts from the gunman's videotapes and basement tapes and news about Columbine's repair. You'll also find the shooter's diaries and AOL profiles, Reb's Zoom 2 wads and websites, and thousands of official documents such as autopsy reports and crime scene photos. Everything that happened before, during, and after the tragic massacre, so we'll never forget. So if you've come looking for information about the Columbine shooting because you're doing research or just want to know what happened, proceed with caution. Some content is graphic and disturbing. Essay Typer and Hacker Typer. Hacker Typer allows you to live out your wildest dreams of hacking into someone's computer, stealing their social security number and identity, then moving to America, dyeing your hair red, and proclaiming yourself as a YouTuber. And Essay Typer is exactly what it sounds like. You can type any subject onto the search bar, well, almost any, and this website will generate a pre-written essay and allow you to make it seem like you're the one typing even though you're just button mashing. Not really ideal since this is blatant plagiarism, but I remember in middle school I had a substitute teacher. And you know, substitute teachers don't really give a fuck, so he was just walking around the class making sure that everyone was working, he was just glancing at the Chromebooks. So, you know me, I would switch over to Essay Typer, button mash, you know, I kinda feel bad for him because he was an old fella, but uh, that's what you get for being old. I can't say that, bro. I'm 20 now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, old people. I'm a part of you guys now. <laughs> All right. This is getting kind of awkward. Uh, let, let's get over to the next website.
the world's worst website ever.com. Imagine Hosanna1.com with the intentions of being a horrible website, but also wholesome. It's still extremely active as we can see, the owner tweets pretty frequently. I mean, I hate using this word, but it's a quirky website. You can play a background song and that's Hey Yeah by Outkast, the 8-bit version. You can get random facts, look at amazing colors, cool fonts, their favorite software, and Trump glitch, which is just making fun of the way Donald Trump speaks. Everyone loves Donald Trump, and those that say they don't are just lies from the lamestream media, since Trump is the greatest person who ever lived, and we all should model our behavior after him. It is a sure, you're fired way of getting people to read what you say on your site. I guess that's the wrong site, that's not the real site, it's S-I-T-E, actually. I just realized how annoying I sounded saying that. Ew, look how smug I am in this clip. Gross. Anyway, apology video coming out soon. Alright, so yeah, thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a like. If you guys are new to the channel, you can subscribe if you want to. I'm not going to force you to subscribe, but you can subscribe. If, I think you should subscribe if you made it all the way to the end of the video. <laughs> but I make music, in case you guys didn't know. I don't know what else to say. I make music and, uh... Like always, my sources were linked down below. I always make sure to credit everything I use. The websites are also down below. I'm talking too much. I'll see you guys next time I upload.